let's start today with three things. These three right here having to do with how melody and harmony interact with one another. It's in the 20th century, early 20th century, people thought of music theory is really about harmony. So you see textbooks that are harmony textbooks. Uh, you don't get a whole lot of melody, and so we're going to... We're going to actually rectify that a little bit and see how, hey, the two interact. They're both important. Melodic progression, harmonic progression, they're both important, and they work together, even in some pretty traditional ways. So harmonic function goes way back. We're going to talk about that and how melody, in particular the function of scale degrees, influences the function of the chord overall. Counterpoint. Well, in counterpoint, you have melody sometimes asserting itself sort of counter to what the chords are doing. So chord changes happen, but suspensions say, uh, not yet, thank you very much. And, and also re retardations do the same thing. They say, okay, you might want to change, but I'm going to change a little later. <laughs> you know, so they, they do their own thing. And the, so the melody, in a sense, is asserting itself, interacting with the, with the harmony. In a way, it's... Um, like I said, asserting itself, so that you see the impulse, the melodic impulse, duking it out. So they're interacting, but in a, at least in this analogy, in a, in a kind of a competitive manner. <laughs> but anyway, number three, compound melody. Compound melody means you have a melody that implies multiple voices, multiple melodies. So it's a melody that's drawing from various melodies that could have just been a separate soprano, alto, tenor, whatever, lines. So you can think of it like this. You have kind of a corral-like texture with chords very vertically conceived and voices, soprano, alto, tenor, bass, all moving along separate from one another, not crossing separate. And here's a melody that draws resources from these by hopping around and moving about from part to part to become a more elaborate melody and involving more leaps because it's got to move between those parts. That's what a compound melody is. It's where you you have a melody that even if it sounds alone can itself imply harmony. So you can hear harmonic changes in a single melody when it's one of these sorts, a compound melody. You can even, without compound melody, hear harmonic implications, right? That's true. But this goes even further because it's actually giving you multiple notes within chords and doing even more to project the harmonic backdrop. So, again, interaction between melody and harmony. You can think of the compound melody, that melody, as... Um, implying those harmonies, or you can also think of it as drawing from them. See how that, you can play it either way. But either way, you're going to have harmony and melody interact. 